Hello and welcome back again guys to our channel. So in this video, we will just continue the Modern UI project tutorial that we have started way back 4 years ago. I know it's a little bit late to upload the tutorial number 3 but we'll just do it anyway. Okay, so if you missed this video, maybe you can just check out our channel. So just check out our video. It's titled Modern UI project tutorial number 1 and also modern UI project tutorial number two okay so the project for this uh, tutorial can be downloaded on our website which is denlikdenis.info so you can download it under the download section okay so for this tutorial so just a recap so we used uh, MySQL our, as our database for this project and of course we're going to use the Metro framework which is the version 1.4 okay so I already downloaded the project itself so it also loaded the database so we just uh, currently have one table which is TBL user but this one I created a new table which is table customer because on this video we're just going to add a grid on our main form okay so this is the table structure for the table customer okay so I just have a customer ID which is a identity and that's uh, auto increment this is our primary key and I have this code first name middle name last name contact number and email okay so I also loaded some data to this so I loaded 100 records so we have something to display on our grid so let's proceed so let's just try if our project is still working so by default username is test so as you can see after login we're just going to see a blank main form so we'll just add some grid here so I already load up the Metro framework on my toolbar. So first and foremost, I will add the Metro tab control. Okay, so under the dock, I will make it fill. Okay, and I will add a tab. Okay, so this tab, I will name it tab customer. Okay, then I will change the label to oh, this should be name and this should be the text should be customer so now after we created a metro tab control and add a metro tab page now we will add a metro grid okay so where's metro P? So just make it change the name to MG customer. Okay, so we will also duck change the duck to feel. Okay, so but we will also change the padding of the top panel. So just make it two five two five. Okay, so we have some two points here, so maybe we'll increase it a bit. So to go to the panel, we click the grid, then press escape. And we get into just all one, five, ten, five, ten. Okay, so we have now our grid okay so now we need to load some data on our grid so here you can see after the login is successful so we should be able to, we should do the loading okay so not on the main form load because basically the main form is the first form that we are loading on our application so based on this okay so now let's go back to the code so I will create a function private void load data then I do a data table 
process table equals to functions because here on our functions we have some basic functionality to create a data table so we we'll just pass the sql script functions then data table and then select asterisk from then get the table name to be our customer okay so now we will set this custom table as our data source for our meter and customer data source sequence to cost table okay so of course we need to call this method from the login success okay so but we need to change also some properties for our metro grid so first we don't want it to be disable allow add disable delete this i should be disable editing okay so what else then row header set it to false and save now uh, let's try it out username test test okay so you can see it loads our data successfully so but including the customer id so we need to hide this because we don't want our user to see this ID because it's irrelevant for them. And customer columns. again okay so now it's hidden so up here our other name and this is the data so we can scroll down scroll up so now we need to add some buttons from where we can click to create, edit, delete, and refresh the record and we only also add the text box here from where the user can search data. So this I'll just copy it from my previous project so I have this button create so now let's create another button for edit so let's just change the name so LNK edit and let's create another one for delete delete then let's just copy the refresh button here also copy the search button and uh, search text box okay so now we need to change the icon of this so as you can see we need to change two icons for each for the button create uh i mean edit and delete so we need also to change the caption here the edit this one is delete Okay, make it a bit smaller. Okay, so delete, so just make it. So let's just move this a bit. Alright, so now we will change the icon for the edit. So here, so we need to change the image and then the now focus image. Okay, so I have here edit. Okay, and then now focus image. So next one is the delete. Then okay, 
okay so now we just need to align this here so let's just press control and then down and then down Size. So we just use our arrow to move it. Okay, so now we have here the buttons and also the search text box. Okay, so just to make this uh, video short, so we'll just add the functionality for create, edit, delete, refresh, and search on our next video. So hopefully, you have learn something from this and hopefully you can see you in the next video so hope you like share and subscribe to this channel thank you very much bye